Boys and girls, we just made it out here for the beginning of our day at Pueblo Reservoir. And Michelle's just driving us out of the no wake zone. Give you guys just a little bit of an idea of what this all looks like. Big old dam. Get the big old Pikes Peak in the background. Beautiful. We're gonna start running down to some of these edges and points and see if we can find some fish. So uh, we will hit the boat here and uh, catch you guys at the spot. Um, I'm out here fishing the new TFO stuff. This is a great lake for casting. Um, so I'm gonna be casting a lot of the new TFO rods that we have behind me. So wanted to explain real quickly each rod. Um, this is the TFO Professional Walleye Series. This is the medium version that I got. It still has a fast action tip. Um, it has really good power in it. Um, so you can see that bend point. It's got pretty decent backbone to this rod, uh, but it still is very sensitive. Um, so I've been really liking this rod so far. This is the kind of rod that I would throw a jigging wrap with. Um, this is a particular model is seven foot. Um, other rods that I've thrown jigging wraps with in the past have been like six foot eight, seven foot. Uh, so this is definitely a great rod for that. Um, I've got that hooked up with a moon eye jig and a, um, this is a walleye assassin swim bait with a chartreuse paddle tail. Uh, so we're gonna give that guy a go, see if we can catch any fish on him. Um, that's more of kind of like maybe a walleye setup. Um, another walleye setup we have here is on the uh, Heroes on the Water TFO rod. Again, uh, portions of this rod purchase will go towards veterans. It's got kind of the cool America colorway. Um, this rod in particular is a seven foot medium light. Um, I believe it's exactly seven, yes it is. And this is a fast action as well. So if we look at the power on this rod, um, it's got good power as well. Um, it's a little less sensitive than the Walleye Professional Series in my opinion, um, but really good backbone to this rod as well. Uh, great for kayaks, great for wheelchairs, um, great for tight spaces. Uh, and that's kind of the thought that they had behind this rod because it's got a really short uh, butt section. I like how I can pin it up here against my arm. It kind of hits in a really good spot. Uh, so if I'm hook setting a uh, walleye or something at night uh, to the side, I can really get a good power on that. The last rod we have here is the same as the one that we looked at in the beginning. Uh, it's the TFO Professional Series, but this is a medium light walleye rod. Um, so this one's not quite as powerful in the backbone, um, but just as sensitive. Now this is a rod that I would use, like I have tied up here, a little Johnson Thin Fisher, something small, something that you want to really feel the vibration of. Um, and it's got great power, um, but it's not quite as stiff as the other. Uh, so if you look at this rod, uh, you're still getting a lot of sensitivity. The bend is really high in the rod, which is great uh, indicator of sensitivity. Uh, but the backbone doesn't have quite as much power, uh, which you don't really need on most of our local lake walleyes. Uh, we don't have giant, you know, 30 inch walleyes every day or 20 inch walleyes every day. Um, but for most of the walleyes you'll be catching, this is a great little rod for around here. If you are in bigger lakes, medium lights work great too. A lot of guys will drag bait with medium lights, uh, but the medium power will give you a little extra bones. So yeah, we're out here fishing these TFO rods. So far, I've really liked them. Um, they cast really nice. Uh, the guides uh, up here in the very top are a little bit oversized compared to some other stuff that I've fished in the past. Um, so it makes it nice for getting like swivels through, it makes it nice for trying to get different things through. But even that small little pull that I'm doing on this rod, I can feel that vibration of the bait. I feel it flicking in the water. A lot of times in the summer when we're catching walleyes, that's key. Because if you pull it too fast and you feel it kind of buzz like a phone would on vibrate, then it's too fast. You gotta pull it so it's just wobbling, just barely going back and forth. And you can feel all that stuff with these rods. So overall, I've got a good impression of the TFO stuff. Uh, but we're going to fish it today and find out just what kind of bones it's got. So stay tuned. We'll show you what we're, uh, we're catching here soon. Clear. Here. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's a good fish. It's a bass. Look at him. Look at him. He's out there. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. It's a bass. Smalley. Woo! 
yeah. That's a nice smallie. Woo. There we go. Nice fatty smallie right there. Nice. That is a good looking smallmouth. That's probably a three pounder, I would I would guess. Smallmouth right here. Caught him on a green jig. Walleye assassin swim bait with a chartreuse tail. And caught him on, nonetheless, the TFO walleye professional rod. I felt him bite immediately. He loaded up super good. That's a good fish. I bet you that's a three pounder. We're gonna find out. Not working. Oh man. All right, we're gonna let the smallie go. Look at his Just eyes. Caught him off this rock point. Real nice smallie. Yeah. Right. Have First on. fish of Pueblo. We'll take it. All right, guys, we're back here in a little cove off of Pueblo. And we're just casting some of these rocks and stuff, trying to see if we can find some fish. one too? Huh? Can I pop this one or just real? Just real. We're casting back here in the cove. Uh, I don't exactly know the name of this cove, but um, I have a pointer 9.5 suspending jointed jerk bait. And this thing looks freaking awesome in the water. I just had a huge, it looked like a bass come up and check me out. But look at that thing as it swims. No! Oh. What was that? Rainbow. Where'd you cast? Were you cast it up into the shallow? Okay, so shallower. But he caught, I caught him close to the boat. Did you? Yeah. They're on that hump, I saw them. All right guys, we had a great day out here at Pueblo. I've never been out to this reservoir before, a lake. Um, and yeah, I was really excited to come out here and try it out. We ended up finishing the day with one smallmouth bass, but almost a three pounder, so that was pretty cool. And then the second fish that Michelle just caught, actually just off the south side marina here, was a rainbow trout on a Johnson Fisher blade bait. Uh, so we had a great day. Uh, we're gonna pack it on in. We got uh, a little bit of clouds and stuff. Look like they might be rolling in. So uh, we're gonna get off. We got about an hour and a half home too. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. The TFO rods worked awesome today. I was really pleased with how they felt in your hand. They worked well for feeling the small vibrations of the blade bait. They felt good uh, when I set the hook on that uh, smallmouth bass. Uh, they load up really nice. I was I was really impressed. I would like to catch some more fish on them in different ways. Um, but from what I've seen so far, they compete with some of the best. So thanks for watching CL Fish Pro, guys. Again, at 8,000 subscribers, we're giving away a walleye TFO Professional Series rod. 
that is this guy right here. Uh, so you'll be getting this rod with a reel and line, 8,000 subscribers, one lucky winner for that. And then TFO is also graciously enough supplying me with a Tactical Elite Bass Rod. That is their top in the line conventional series rod. And I'll have one of those to give away to you guys as well with a, a reel and line as well. So the, the rod itself I think retails for like 200 bucks. So it's gonna be like probably close to a $300 combo. Uh, so yeah. If you guys are uh, subscribing to the channel, uh, you'll be able to enter the contest. If you haven't subscribed already, just click the button below. And then in about, I don't know, I would say probably a month or so, we'll be getting pretty close. I'll post a video and then we'll have people comment below and we'll get ready to give away that rod. So thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. On YouTube, sometimes it's hard to earn your subscription, and I hope I have. So if my video could help you improve your next fishing trip, or you feel like you learned something, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button below. At 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away either a TFO fly rod or a conventional setup. We're less than 4,000 subs away. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.